Let's see. Is that enough for you? Brought to you in part by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Ardent, pure performance, all American. This week on Extreme Angler TV. <laughs> Did you see how far that line jumped? What, like three feet? Was it you? Ah. Hey, welcome back to another Cottage Angler. Here's your two minute tip for fishing docks. You see me fishing docks a lot on Extreme Angler. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Extreme Angler. This week, early summer walleye on specific little bitsy, small little spots. Now you'll think maybe the whole spot in the lake, I'm just finding those little uh, nooks and crannies spots that hold the mother load of walleye. That's not it. What I want to get across today, there's little areas, amongst areas where you catch, let's say a fish here and a fish there, trying to pinpoint those little spots, little dissections in the weed, a little point, an edge, an edge, a drop off with weed. The little things that hold the most fish. It sounds you know, easy, but you have to just sometimes have faith. The right baits, like today we're gonna to use the little Strike King Rage Grubs on small jig heads and just be as persistent and as stubborn as them. But finding their home, putting it in where they like to chill, their kitchen, their living room. Just things that, you know, other guys might catch one fish keep moving on and say, wow, I got one there once. You have no idea how many fish could be in one spot. When I say one spot, it could be 20 feet, it could be 20 yards long, just something that's different from the surrounding areas. So today, we're gonna try to dissect that, show you how to slow down, work those areas, and potentially catch those bigger walleyes. Let's go have some fun. Now it's so imperative. You hear me say all the time about making long casts when you're fishing for walleye. If you're using a jerk bait or a crank bait and stuff, you want to get it down and stuff like that, that's one thing. But especially when you're working those small, confined, pinpoint, high potential areas that you find, you put them on your sonar, you got the waypoints, you're zoned in right into where those fish are. You just want to make small, underhand pitches. Keep the bait close to the boat. You know what's going on. You can put that bait right into those spots. Now, I don't mean you're putting it right into like a, you know, a little basketball net, you're just dunking baskets or putting it into a pail. What you're doing is putting it right on those weed edges, in the weed, where the fish are. Are they a foot into the weed, a foot on the outside, right on the point? The closer you are to the boat, the more chances are that little bait is gonna be closer to those walleyes. Come on, fishy, fishy. I got a good idea where you're hiding. You're up high, sitting on these weeds. And you want to eat. I know you do. Look at that, eh? What is that? Look how high that walleye is. Look how high he was. Doing the old slow roll. Just got him in the nose. First fish of the day. No giant fish. But it's pinpointing where they are, which is key to catching them small like this and big like the way we want. Go on, Mr. Walleye. So again, moving around, finding the spot on the spot. It sounds cliche, you know what I mean? Oh, exactly where on the brush pile, the log, etc. But in walleye fishing, 
There could be just numbers and numbers of fish there. You catch one or two, don't assume I bet them all. It's incredible how many can be in one little spot. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I usually, you know, just try to figure it out. Stick on it, slow down, work it good, change sizes of baits, colors of baits, different sizes of jig heads, mix it up a bit. Sometimes if I catch three or four fish off a spot, I'll change it a bit. I'm getting them on a smoke blue, I'll go to chartreuse, a little bit of orange or pumpkin, just mix it up a bit in case they, you know, get used to seeing that same thing. You know, I don't want to get too technical, but staying on them, finding the spot on the spot, use the sonar, waypoint the spot, and just zigzag through and figure out where the big ones are. Let's keep going. Little pitch, flip over, watch the grub. Hopefully your line just jumps or you feel that real good tick. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Did you see how far that line jumped? What, like three feet? Was it you? Huh? Was it you? I want Apollo Creed. I want Apollo Creed. Come here, fool. What do you think? You're going to eat that thing, sucker? Do you think you're going to eat that up, boy? Man, I, don't, I can't even tell you. I can't explain. What do you think, fool? It's like throwing a big, fat hack attack jig in the cane. Throwing it in, sinks, and your line just goes, <laughs> and your world just explodes. Pow! Just like swimming that little rage grub, throwing it out, going down. <laughs> it can be nothing else but a fish. That's what I live for. I think that's a better fish. Oh, just a decent fish. Look at him. Again, up high in the water column, eh? Look at him. Splish, splash. He wants to give me a bath. Ding, 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 ding. And he looks like the other one. Hey, folks. Look at the color of the fish, folks. Look at him. See how yellow that thing is? You know where he is. And the yellow pickerel. They call them walleyes. They get them pliers. It gives you a good idea how they're eating it on the way down, eh? Grab that little... Rage grub, so that let him go. He's gonna go all nuts on me. Well, just a chunky little male. Look at his eyes, eh? That's why they call him walleye. You get down there, you tell mama I'm here. We're gonna have a scrap. Pow! Knockout! <laughs> hey. Another little picker alley on the spot. Hey, eh? look at him. Boy, oh boy. Incredible, eh? I tell you, it's, it's, it's something else, man, when you just can pinpoint almost to a cast where the fish are going to be, you know? Sitting on top of the weed is a bit more of a handful, but it's just not what I'm looking for yet, eh? But you're all yellow, so I know where he's sitting. In that weed, and I just gotta focus. You know, I got that north wind push me through the spot. It doesn't matter. I just drift slow. I got the sonar waypoints, making short casts to right where those little clumps come out. Every time I turn around, come back, tick, fish on, fish miss, strike, whatever it is. I know they're there. I pluck some out, other ones move in. That simple. Staying on the right spot. Don't be always convinced, you know, in bass fishing, you want to run around, I got one there, I got one under a dock, I got one under a stump. Hey, that's bass fishing. When it comes to walleye fishing, slower, the more stubborn, the better. Boy, the weeds are like a wall here. Hence why the walleyes are there. Yeah, see? A nicer fish too. I'm pulling that drag, eh? No big giant for walleyes, but look at When they're not super aggressive, you have got to get on the right spots and you'll just keep catching fish. Isn't that what it's all about? Oh, you want to get me, don't you? You got them little 
those little teeth. And they get you. Oh, they'll get you like a little vampire. Uh oh, see, just decent. If I let off, he's just going to go psychotic. We'll let him go. They're just chunky, nice fish. And on some lakes, you know, depending on the creel size, the slot limits and stuff, those are perfect eaters. And on a day when they're not biting real good, hey, I'll take those home to eat. Oh, here comes some thick weed, buddy. And look at that. Walleyes, too. Right on top of it. Look at them fight. Oh, yeah. Look at them scrap. Wow. You think you're a big one, eh? You're just a solid one. But I'm going to show you again where he is. Take a look at my sonar. Whoa, easy you, man. Hey, whoa, Gil Raker. You're a mean boy. Look at, see all these waypoints? See the weeds? Go on, get down there. It's not a science. Right baits, rods, presentation, waypoints, you're gonna catch walleye. It's that simple. Keep it simple, you'll catch them too. Let's see if there's any more out here. Yeah, that thing is a good one too. I think it's a good one too. A good pickerelli? Oh, it's a nice pickerelli. Look at him. Hey, he just acting like he's a big one. Look at this. Hey, where did he get it? Oh, look at that. Hey, he was looking at it in the weeds. Look where it got him. Under the chin. Oh boy, hey. Eh? You know he's gonna go back right away anyway, but. Goes to show you, he looked for that grub that went inside the weed, and he went down in the weed to grab that grub, and you got caught. But unfortunately, it was the wrong side of your mouth. Look how yellow you are. I know exactly where you were in those weeds. Ready? Ready to go back? Go on. Once again, sticking on the waypoints, getting the proven spot. I wandered off again, you know, looking at those edges again, you know, just instinct. Oh, maybe there's bigger ones on the edges and stuff. Nothing. Turn around, come back to the same spot, got two fish, third or fourth cast, I catch one. Not rocket science, but you just got to keep going back to proven locations, small spots on the good spots. And now it's time for The Cottage Angler, presented by Evercast. Establish a pattern. Hey, welcome back to another Cottage Angler. Here's your two minute tip for fishing docks. You see me fishing docks a lot on Extreme Angler. You know why? It's structure, it's along the shoreline. That's where those big fish travel. That's where they go, those big lone wolves. They don't have to pack up and, you know, school up together offshore and stuff. They rule the shorelines. Let me show you, when I'm approaching a dock, like this one here, there's a boat moored, it's got a cover on, so it tells me that no one's been in there, no one's on it. So I'll stay back, make those first pitches along the side, the dark edge. Okay, that's the closest spot to me. That's what I wanna fish first. I don't wanna throw it way over there and then come back over here. Fish the stuff that's in front of you first, right here. If a fish is there, if he's aggressive, chances are your line's gonna move right away. If he's not aggressive, chances are you're just gonna see him come out and look at your bait. And I'll slowly work my way around, take my time, make those pitches in all the little dark holes where I think they should be. Then, when I'm happy that possibly this fish is not sitting on this side, I'll take my time and work the bait out slow. Because sometimes those bigger fish, they're smart. They take their time, they just come out nice and slow to see what it is. And I'll put one on this side. Watch it, don't take your eyes off it. You see again, see how far back I am? I'm not right on top of the dock. Put it on the side. Just let it drop and watch it. See the momentum of the boat? It's still going. I can fish slow. I'm not rushing. And I'm not on the trolling motor. That fish would not even know I'm even here. All he's going to see is that little jig or a little soft plastic. And if he's in any mood to eat, there's a good chance he's going to bite it. 
And last but not least, there's a little paddle boat back there. Once again, if it's got even inches of water, it can hold a fish. Never go buy a paddle boat. Always make a pitch. Look what's in the water. Anything that possibly a fish could hold on. That's your tip on this week's Cottage Angler. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, Mr. Walleye. I know you're not back there. I know you're right here, right in front of me. And I know you want to eat. So why don't you just grab that grub, eat the grub, bite the grub, so I can catch you. Sitting in eight feet of water, drifting over the weed flat. Look at that. Wow. I think he might be a good one, man. Is he a good walleye? I think so. Look at him. Staying down. Look at him shaking his head. Oh, you gotta love it, eh? Look at him. Just absolutely gorgeous specimens of Kawartha Lakes walleye in the weeds Look at that net. Just let him sit in there, right? Eh? Oh man, oh man, oh man, I tell you. Look at the penetration. You couldn't get better there. And I'm not kidding you. Well, oh, yeah, let him go. Just like that. Not even feeling these fish. When I was on the deeper stuff, tick, 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 tick. Shallower stuff between waypoint, waypoint, where the weed's going like this, okay? I'm just lifting and swimming it over those weeds. And once when I lift up, they're already there. No tick. So you know, they're just looking at it, and as I lift and I'm dropping, they're just coming up, open their mouth like this, and swimming. That's how real it looks. So I lift up, you always got to be prepared. Line knot, real long cast with a big bow, you'd miss half those fish. I'm only fishing about 20, 25 feet ahead of the boat. So when I'm lifting, I can feel the bow. You lift up, you just penetration, the hook set, keep the rod bent, reel in the slack line, and you catch them. Keep going. You know when it comes to walleye fishing, the keys to catching more walleyes on more trips is learning the basics. Learning what rods to use. You know, like in this case, six and eight pound, four carbon. Smaller jig head, one eighth ounce, even three sixteenths. I cut down the little rage grubs down and I used a six three, six six, seven foot St. Croix, you know, uh, light, medium, medium action. Because if you do that in the right spots, every other lake you go to, you got the right equipment, you will find where those fish are and you're going to catch them too. Just get back to basics, figure out where they are, use the right tackle, slow down, and you're going to catch your share of more and bigger walleyes on more occasions. Yeah, told you. Doesn't feel too bad, but all these walleyes feel good. Whoa, is he staying down? It's a nice little pick. Look at him, eh? Have they ever cast, eh? Just, oh, look at them fight, eh? How can you not love that, eh? Look at that. Beautiful walleyes. Just look at that scrap. Turn his head all around. He thought he had an easy per perch meal. I probably should have grabbed you, eh? With my nice lucky straight net. Let's see. Keep the gill rakers down. Atta boy. And just have your reliable pliers. Everything's nice and handy. You find the bend of the hook. Just pop it out like that. Don't hurt the fish. Again, coming out of the weeds, seeing that grub looking like a perch, open up those big, sharp little choppers. Look at them, like vampire teeth. Anything goes in there, minnow's gone. Let's let you go, boy. You're a beautiful, specimen of Kawartha walleye. Now I can honestly say I'm almost done for the day. Totally spent. Got out late about eight o'clock. I didn't care. I'm having a fantastic day, catching fish, missing fish, putting it together, 
and putting another fantastic memory in the bank. You know, it's so important to use your sonar when you're going from spot to spot. You've got those little pinpoint areas and stuff. You want to just stay on top of those fish. You don't want to be casting all over the place and stuff. Get a little a zone. You get comfortable of where you feel the fish are. 12 o'clock ahead of you. So you're not casting all the way to like 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all over the place. You find that zone where the fish are. You got a waypoint here, waypoint there. You know where the weed comes out, that little indentation, a little drop off where you're catching them. So you keep those casts tight, close to the high potential areas, and you're going to catch them when you find those pinpointed hot spots. The waypoints are within 50 feet, so it could be anywhere around here. There it is there, see? That's what I mean. Oh, he pulled off! Oh, lordy! Good one, too. See what I mean? In my little zone. Put it right back out. Look at the waypoints. Let me show you this. Look at this. See that? 80, 84, 82. I'm right on it. 50 feet. There's a weed. Looks like maybe some fish. How can you beat that? That's my little zone right there. And that's where the weed sticker. And that's where I just lost one. Let's keep going. Nothing to brag about yet. Oh, I think that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Look at him. <laughs> hey, what I mean, hey? Good on the waypoints. Get on the right stuff. Uh oh, I better find my net. And keep the tension on the rod. Oh, oh, where are you, boy? Have here. Ah, it's a nice little walleye, huh? See? Go to the waypoints. Go to the little stuff. The little things. It makes a big difference. What do I mean by little things? I mean just those little finer points in the weeds. The little edges, nook and cranny, and you're gonna catch fish like that. No big giant fish, but a fun, fun day of catching about 15, 18, 19, I don't know, but real nice walleyes. And I'm pretty sure if I come back another time, work the same things on this lake or another lake, those little nooks and cranny spots that they're gonna get, well, about that much bigger and that much fatter. But that's okay. But for now, I'm happy because I'm catching walleyes. And that's how you can do it too on Extreme Angler TV. Thanks for watching. We're going to see all of you next time. Same channel, same place, same boat. Take it easy. If you want more Extreme Angler, go to our website extremeanglertv.com and I'm sure you'll find us on all your popular social networks, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, because I know you're gonna like us.